Okay, I'm going to kind of go through this a little quick here. I was asked to try and uh, show you exactly how I do stippling using the IQ Designer. Some of you guys know how to do this already, but maybe it'll help some of the people out there who've had a lot of questions. So let's go into IQ Designer first thing. And you can see in IQ Designer, I'm going to go up to the top here. I'm going to make sure I got my 9.5 by 9.5 is set. I'm going to go in here and I'm just going to pull a basic shape. I'm not doing any scanning of fabric tonight. I'm just going to show you a basic shape. So I'm going to pull a square, hit OK. So it gives me a square in the center. I'm going to resize that square and make it an eight and a half by eight and a half. So I'll just keep going up till I get to where I get right there. I'm going to drag it, make sure it's centered, hit OK. So now I got a square. Inside that square, I'm going to put a different shape. So I'm going to take this and I am going to put this heart right in there. I'm going to hit OK. So I'm going to resize that and I'm going to take it down to about four or something, somewhere four and a half. There you go, that's close enough. I'm going to drag it and move it and I'm going to center it so it's centered also in there. So I hope this all you guys can see and follow this. So now here's where we start to decide on what these shapes are going to do. In the line properties, you have the pencil, you have the filler, you have the eyedropper, and you have the properties. So let's go into the properties. This right here is no stitch. These are all your line properties for different types of lines. These are all your different stitches from candle wicking to triple runs, double runs, satins. This is no stitch. You see you got no color, so you can't choose a color either. So I'm gonna hit okay. So now I'm gonna zoom in by hitting the plus key twice. I can't see my square, so if I go over here, I can drag this box up, and there's the outline of my square. So now I'm going to touch the beaker, and I'm going to tell touch the line, and what I'm telling it is I don't want to stitch it. It went from a solid black to like a gray line. I don't know if you can really see that, but that's what it is. Okay. Now I want to also set the stitching around the heart. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to set it to a satin, and I'm going to make it red. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go back to my beaker and I'm going to touch my heart. And now you can see my heart turn red. Okay, so now let's zoom out. Okay, so now I got a red heart inside of the box. So now what it's going to do is it's not going to stitch the box, but it will stitch the heart with a satin stitch. Okay, so now I want to stipple on the outside around the heart. So in order to do that, we drew the box to give us an outer boundary line. So now we're going to fill the box with stippling. So we're going to go back to the line properties. We're going to go to here. Excuse me. We're going to go to the fill properties, the next box down. Okay, line properties, fill properties. So now we're in the fill region properties, and there's stippling right there. So that's the stippling I want. And I'm going to make it black so it's easy to see. And I'm going to hit OK. So now I'm going to go to the beaker, and you can see right here it shows my stippling. And I'm just going to touch in between the box and the heart. And it filled all that with stippling. Okay. So now I want to fill the heart with stippling too. So I'm going to go back into here. I'm going to go to red, and I'm going to change this to something different. I'm going to use this one. Okay. So I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to stipple with that pattern, with that color, in that heart. So now my beaker is already set. Now if I just touch in there, there it is. Now if I go to next, that's when you start setting your final properties. This is your run stitch length. I just leave that alone. I usually don't mess with it. This is how big it is. The higher the number, the bigger the stippling is going to be. The smaller the number, the smaller the stippling is going to be. So I'll set this one to about a three something. That's good enough. This is how close is the stippling going to get to that marching ants box around the outside. So if I want to have it a quarter of an inch in, I can set it that way. I want mine to st stipple all the way to the box. So I'm going to hit the zero. I'm going to hit set. I'm going to hit preview. I'm going to hit OK. So now if you look at it, you can see the stippling. It's inside that box. My size is 8.4 by 8.4, basically. And then you can also see the stippling inside the heart. Okay, so let's return. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to the line properties. I think I already set this to a satin stitch. I just wanna make sure, so we have that set as a satin stitch. So when you go into the preview, you can select 
different things. Right now, I've selected the stippling on the outside. If I hit select, now I've done the stippling on the inside. You can see it. So I can set the angle I want that to be on this particular stippling, and I can set if I want the outline on or off. I'm gonna set that off, okay? If I hit next, now it's the outline of the heart, the density and the stitch width. So I'm gonna make that a little bit thicker. I'm gonna hit set. Now if I go to preview and hit okay, Got my stippling on the outside, I got my thick satin stitch around on the inside, and I got that on the other stippling on the inside of the heart. I've got black poly, right, you know, for my thread on the stippling, and then you got the red and the red. So it's going to stitch the outside, the inside, and the satin. Can't really change the stitch order, but that's what it's going to do. Okay, if I hit set, I hit OK, and I go to embroider, there it is, as I hit embroider. Now I can put my, my uh, hoop in my machine and stitch this out. I hope this helps and um, I'll try and make another one here real quick to, to explain a little bit more. If you have any questions, let me know. But just real quick, it's the same process when you're doing what I do on my, some of my quilts you've seen on there. Is All I'm doing is I'm scanning my fabric first. I scan the fabric and then on my fabric there's a block. Well, you can go to the line properties. And you can go to the line. Instead of drawing a square and trying to size it, which you can do, you can also just draw a line straight across. Pick on that point, draw a line straight down, line it up with your, with your, in your, size your quilt. Draw a line that way. And draw a line up. That'll close, but you can see right here that didn't close because I missed it. Yeah, we did close, so we're good. So it's all closed. So I just drew that around, doing the same thing. I can go to here, I can go to stippling, go to orange, I can go to that, and I can tell it to fill it. So that's basically what I do, is I draw the square around the outside first, and then if I have the witch's foot, or I've done some other ones that you've seen on there, different designs, I then take the same line tool here, and I just go dot, 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 and I just draw around the area that I don't want stippled, and I set an outer border and an inner border, and then I tell it to stipple the area in between. So if you want, reach out for me. I can uh, email you or uh, anything else like that to help you out, and I hope this helps some of you guys, and I'm gonna try and do some more videos when I get set up and get things settled down. I've just been really slammed right now trying to get a lot of different embroidery done. I got some digitizing I gotta get done for customers and I also got some uh, quilts that I gotta get done before the holiday. So I'm trying to get a YouTube channel set up here soon and start doing a lot more videos on how to use the Destiny, how to use IQ Designer on quilts, how to use the laser tool, I mean the, the laser pen over here and how to use a laser on the machine. And we'll start doing a lot more videos on that as well. So hopefully this helps and uh, let me know, thanks.